Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is farrier day on the Day by Day Farm. Did I forget? Yes. <laughs> Did I remember last night and say, okay you guys, we have to be up early and clean the barn, the farrier's coming? Yes. Did I wake up this morning and sit on the floor and play with my puppy for like an hour and then forget that the farrier was coming and then have to rush and get ready? Yes, that was me too. So uh, Sam and Sophie do morning chores and Sam and Gabby do afternoon chores and then I clean the arena and I clean the house and do the laundry and all that stuff. But a couple of days ago, when we were expecting guests, I told Sam, you have to sweep better. Because I honestly don't think that he ever swept this barn one single time in his life. And then you guys know, he showed up later that day with a leaf blower. And look at the barn! It's been perfect ever since! <laughs> it's been so nice! Another thing that I find very suspicious is that it takes Sam and Sophie three hours almost. Well, not Sophie. Sophie stays and does her chores and then she comes back up to the house. But Sam is always in the barn for like three hours every morning, which is perfect because it gives me time to get all my work done. And then when he's home, we do stuff together. It's almost like he's going out to a job. So today, when I told him that the farrier was coming, 20 minutes, 20 minutes it took him, 20 minutes to clean the barn. I don't know if it was the, the leaf blower that really helped or if, he just likes to enjoy cleaning out the barn and taking his time and the privacy and the quiet that he actually gets when he's down here. The one thing that we still disagree on is this little courtyard area. Every time they bring hay, it gets all over the ground and I want the grass to grow here. So I'm just gonna sweep it up and get it all situated before the farrier gets here. Oh, we got contestant number one. <laughs> Your contestant number one. First, but she ran to the yeah, so Sophie was gonna bring Willow first, and then but Honey sees Sophie and runs. She's the equivalent of of Ellie to me. Like Ellie loves me so much. She hates when I leave the room. She hates when oh, yeah, or I'm not too. near her. And Honey's the same. She wants Sophie with her all the time. Sophie's her favorite. Do you guys see that? Wait, I don't think you guys can see it. She has white at the top of her head. It's like a V shape. It's gonna be an interesting shape. And I can't wait to see it when she sheds out. Like I'm dying to see it. But also, when we were looking at pictures of her when she was a baby, she has spots everywhere, like everywhere. Her legs are covered in spots. Her body covered in spots. But they're like slightly darker than her, than the tan. So it's like a really dark tan color. Let's see if I can figure out. Let's see if I can see. Do you guys remember last time Honey got her feet done? She laid down. She flopped. She flopped down. She's like, I'm just laying. She's like a fish. <laughs> Flop. Yeah. I think that might be a problem again today. Now that she knows what getting her feet is like, now she has an opinion. Now she has Is that your friend? Her feet are so small. Yeah, her feet are so tiny. Stop it. So this morning I was reading comments and I was laughing my butt off through a lot of them. A lot of them were so funny. There was one and she said that they have like a terrier cross dog, small dog at their barn and sometimes they'll be mucking out the stalls and they'll hear a big thud and then they'll see this little terrier dog carrying a rat in twice their, twice the dog's body size. And I got this visual of of Ellie outside the barn while we're inside cleaning or doing something with the horses in her little bows and her long hair and her fancy dress carrying a rat twice her size and I just started laughing hysterically like I love that she's the kind of breed that will kill rats maybe not chickens so much but I just was laughing hysterically thinking like I had planned this this little fancy little dog that would like let me put bows in her hair and wear dresses and she's not that dog <laughs> she's nothing like that I see them all over the place and they all look like that but she's not that dog so now that vision is replaced with her carrying around dead animals <laughs> yeah funny <laughs> I have to sit down to wash her face she likes it though Sorry. She just wants attention right now. Does Gabby ride tonight? Yeah, so Gabby's lesson got rescheduled so she rides tonight. I'm excited. It's like a fun thing for us to all go to the barn and watch Gabby ride. I just like hanging out with Julia. Sophie just likes hanging out with Julia. Did you guys know that Julia and Sophie are nine months apart? And Elizabeth and Sophie are 11 months apart, I think. It's actually freezing today. So Sam set this up for me. Not that I'm ever going to get to... 
sit here on the couch and just listen and just enjoy it because I'm always with the farrier. I wonder if Sam's leaf blower will help with this. This is Ellie's very first ever horse hoof. <laughs> I washed it though. Do you like it? <laughs> She's like, yes, hold it right there for me while I chew it, please. Do you like it? <laughs> and there she goes with all of her toys. And the other dog that didn't come down. Wait, I dropped one. Because if Daisy goes down to the barn, she'll be shaking in two seconds. Oh, she'd be way too cold to spend that much time in the barn. This guy's the coolest looking. He is the coolest oh, looking. Oh, Toby. Yeah, bring it here. Oh, wait, is that the one? Yes, Toby. Toby McGuire? Oh, yeah, because I named him. Toby. Let's see him. Toby it's Toby! Toby. That's not the coolest looking yes, one, it is. is it? Oh yeah, okay, let's she show is. them. Well, so not, this you, is our coolest yeah. looking chicken. It looks like a girl. No, he's a boy. Yeah, we're pretty sure it's a boy, but now it looks like a girl. But look at how cute. He's it's, my baby. Yeah, he's really cute. I said if, if he grows up and it turns out the way I think he's gonna turn out, I think he's a Polish. He has a tiny bit of a puff on the top of his head. He's, I think he's a Polish cross. And if he turns out the way I think he's going to turn out, then we're probably going to keep him. Isn't he so cute, though? So this one also, I think, is a Polish cross. And it's got a little bit of white on it. But, oh, it's, I don't know. But the feathers don't have the white on the way that that other one does. Does it have white on its feather or is that just the feather shaft? I think it's just the feather shaft. That's weird how he has like parts of missing feathers. I put this up. Super cute. This one. So this is one of my favorite chickens. It's got white on its wing too. Really and cute. it's a girl. She's really cute. She's River. Sophie calls her River. She calls every great chicken River. I don't know why. Shoosh. Shoosh. She says shoosh. It's <laughs> chicken's like, who that. are you? Ellie is clearly enjoying that hoof. Oh, no. I don't think she can bite it, though. For some reason, she's not able to actually, like... Well, she is taking little tiny pieces off it, but she's not chewing it very well. I don't, I don't know if maybe she shouldn't have that. I think I'm going to take it away until she's a little bit bigger. Right, so see this little bucket? This is where we keep our dog food. We keep our dog food in there. And we used to feed them on the floor, but now we feed them up here. We free feed our dogs because every single one of them is really good about taking what they need and then walking away. Soon after we got Ellie, I realized that she is not that kind of a dog. She's the kind of dog that will eat and eat and eat until she's sick. So I started measuring out her food. Obviously I do that for puppies anyways, but I started measuring out her food and only giving her the exact right amount and dividing it by three. So I feed her three times a day so she doesn't ever get hungry. Which sucks a little because three times a day she has the zoomies and Yorkie zoomies are on a whole other level. So everything was going well until last night. I had the system all down and in place. She gets fed on her own and I put the dog's food up on top of that container and they can all reach it and Ellie can't reach it. You would think that that means everything is wonderful, but no, it wasn't. At night, when I go to edit, I ask Sam to watch the puppy. I put up baby gate so she can't get upstairs. I go edit and I leave him to watch her. He isn't as in tune to her as I am, so he doesn't notice when she's doing things the way that I do. So last night I was editing and Sophie brings me the puppy and she says she climbed up on that thing. So she jumped and jumped and jumped until she got all the way up there and Sophie, her video ended that she was watching and so she could hear a dog eating. And so she looked and sure enough, Ellie was on top of that thing eating out of that big bowl. And the thing about Ellie, like I told you, is she'll eat until she explodes. She doesn't have like a shut off button. So Sophie brings me Ellie and her belly is 10 times the size of her body. Like it's this big, huge bloated belly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how much did she eat before you found her? And she said she had no idea. I could tell she had a belly ache all night because she didn't want to be touched. She'd slept at the end of the bed. She didn't sleep all night. But then this morning, she went to the bathroom so many times. Not diarrhea, she just pooped normally, but so much because her belly was just so big. So now I fed her this morning and every morning when I feed her, because I measure it out so perfectly and because she's so motivated by food, she eats her food faster than a speeding bullet. Like she's so fast, she gobbles it down. Like I'm almost to the point where I'm thinking about getting her 
uh, food bowl that that is like one of those trays where she has to like try and get it out of to make it to make her slow down well today she hasn't eaten a single thing yet she has not eaten a single bit of her food okay so Sam says that if I want my puppy to be bonded only to me and not the other dogs then I have to play with her like the dogs play with her she's all wet from having a drink so I'm gonna wait till she runs away I'm gonna pretend I'm not paying attention and then I'm gonna hide and jump out at her and see what happens. Oh! <laughs> I didn't scare you? <laughs> Let's try again. So cute. <laughs> I'm not good at playing with puppies apparently. on the floor it's like two hours later we're having a tug of war <laughs> ellie's changed teams hello storm hello i brought treats for you your little rider can give you when you're done looking cute like, hello hello <laughs> he's like i know i know you got the treats hi big it's guy just kind of a band his oh there's nothing hanging down so it can stay yeah. okay we miss you. We love you. You guys, I forgot to tell you that the farrier came today. When the farrier was here, she gave us the most crazy news about Chino. So you guys know we've been struggling with his feet. And he had shoes on and he has really flat feet and just so many issues with his feet. And we've been working through all these issues. And then in the fall, we took off his shoes and we said like, Nothing we do is working. We're gonna just take off his shoes. He pulls them off all the time anyway. He damages his feet by pulling them off. So we took off his shoes and now, today, he doesn't have flat feet anymore. He has really great grooves. He's got grooves in there. They're like, they're not flat anymore. What did she say? She said, we've got con con concavity. Concavity, how do you say that? Anyways, it was super exciting. His feet are coming around so, so good. We have the vet coming next week, early next week to look him over and do some x-rays and stuff. Just make sure everything is in working order now that we've kind of got everything where we think we need him to be and hopefully have the best darn year season with Gino. But I wanted to tell you guys, because I don't want to forget what the carrier said when she was here. But anyway, it was really exciting. I mean, I looked at his feet and couldn't believe the difference. The changes have been phenomenal. Don't you know that you're beautiful?